What's up guys, it's Alex over at Laser Everything and I could not leave that old gold engraving episode alone. We really struggled, but I couldn't leave it. I had to keep working on it and I read a ton of comments. We got some great comments and feedback on that episode that really helped me kick my gold cutting game up a notch. So now I'm ready to share the secret to cutting gold with you in this episode. We're gonna get started right now. So what's the secret to cutting gold? Well, one thing that we breezed over in the last episode, and if you haven't watched it, please go and watch it right now. I'll throw a link right up here for you so that you can pause here, go watch that one, and then come back and watch this one so you can have some context. We really struggle with cutting gold in that episode. Uh, but the thing that we really breezed over was the wobble. Wobble makes a huge difference. And uh, thanks to comments like these from Lindsay, uh, Lindsay here shares her wobble settings with us and what we learned is that our wobble was way too small. The diameter of our wobble circles is way, way, way too small and the gold is basically welding itself back together because it's so close and so hot that it's just re-welding that gold as we're trying to cut through it. Big mistake. So we're going to go ahead and show some clips here of how the gold is cutting now that our wobble has been increased and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how we changed the wobbles between the settings. So before our wobble was something really, really small, like ridiculously small. I think we had it set to 0 0.001, Ugh, yikes, uh, way, way, way too small. So. For this first piece of gold here, we're going to be doing the 14 karat rose gold and we have a wobble setting with a diameter of 0.33, uh, that's 0.33 millimeters and a distance of 0.1. I've seen a whole bunch of suggestions from like a millimeter to like 0.1 millimeters to, you know, I mean just like all, all across the board. But 0.1 seems to work really well. So 0.33 millimeters with a 0.1 distance uh, on the wobble there. And uh, same settings that we were using last time. So it's going to be 100 speed, 90 power, and 37 kilohertz. Again, my peak power for my laser source is 37 kilohertz. Yours may be different, so you'll want to check that with your manufacturer. But the 0.33 diameter wobble with the 0.1 distance setting, this just pops right out. It just comes right out. The edge is super clean. Uh, the, the gold wasn't even that hot. Uh, so that's amazing. And we'll move on here to the 14 karat yellow gold. Uh, again, this is at 0.33 diameter and 0.1 on the distance. And uh, you can see this one cuts right out as well. Both of these, we did 60 passes. 60 passes took us right through uh, to the other side of these and they both came out no problem. Now, one of the big issues with cutting gold is the amount of gold you're losing. And the bigger the wobble, the more gold you're going to lose. So um, I wanted to try to tighten up our wobble a little bit, not 0 0.001, but something smaller just to see how much it would affect us cutting through the gold. So uh, for this next example, I actually have another 14 karat yellow piece of gold. And this wobble was set to a diameter of 0.165. So this is half the 0.33 that we tried on the last piece. Uh, and again, the distance is 0.1. And uh, it definitely struggles to, to get through. It's, it's not getting through in the same number of passes here. And if we take a second to look uh, at the underside, we can see that it's penetrated a bit, but it's also re-welded a bit, right? So those two gold edges are too close together and it's starting to re-weld together again. Uh, that's a big problem when you're trying to get through the gold. Now, if we had kept running this, again, we ran this one at 60 passes. If we had kept running this, uh, you know, maybe 120 passes, we may have eventually broken through. But we're trying to keep this as fast as possible. One of the big problems with the old settings was that it was getting through, but it was taking so long. The gold was heating up way too much, and uh, it was taking like an hour to cut out a shape. And we don't. We want to go fast. We want to cut fast gold shapes. So I wouldn't really recommend the 0.165 on the wobble diameter. Next up, we had the 10 karat yellow gold. And for the 10 karat yellow gold, I thought I'd split the difference. So instead of 0.33 or 0.16, we went 0.22. Uh, it's kind of right smack in the middle there. And uh, the 0.22 did a better job getting through the 10 karat yellow. Uh, in fact, it got all the way through. And uh, as you can see in this clip here, we just went ahead and punched it right out. So uh, there was no problem with the 0.22 on the 10 karat yellow. But then we tried it again on the 14 karat white, the 0.22. 
And uh, here, you know, it seems like it's making really good progress. It looked like we were getting all the way through. Uh, but when we went to punch out that circle, it wouldn't budge. We couldn't actually get the circle out. So 0.22, I'm going to say, is a little thin for the 14 karat white gold. Uh, you may want to just stick with 0.33 across the board. Again, if we had increased our number of passes from 60 to maybe 120, we may have been able to pierce through the white gold uh, at the 0.22 diameter, but I'm not entirely sure. You know, if you, if you want to just be safe and you want to do it as fast as possible, 0.33, if you want to experiment uh, and try some different pass combinations on, on how many passes you need to do to get through the gold, uh, maybe experiment with the 0.22, but I'd stay away from anything lower than that. Again, we're doing all of our cutting here with a 110 millimeter lens on a 30 watt JPT laser. So you may be able to punch through this faster if you've got more wattage uh, or a smaller lens. If you're working with a smaller work area, you may be able to get through these. A couple other problems that we had. Uh, the first one was the heating up, right? The warping and the melting. Now, the rubber grips, which I used again in this episode, uh, are probably heat insulators, according to some of the comments we've read, and they're not allowing heat to escape the gold. If we just simply took those off and grabbed it with the uh, aluminum, the raw aluminum arms of the circuit board holder, that would probably do a much better job wicking away the heat. Uh, you could also experiment with different heat sinks and platforms in order to cut your gold on, but I think that simple change probably would have made a big difference. Uh, the other problem that we're still having here, and uh, you know, I don't personally, this isn't like a big thing for me because I'm not a jeweler and I'm not a goldsmith. We kind of talked about this last episode, but people are going to struggle with how much gold they're losing when you need such a big kerf on the wobble in order to cut through the gold nicely without it rewelding. Uh, there are different ways that you can collect that with like extraction uh, so that you can collect that gold. And one of the simple ways that was offered to me uh, as a solution for that, for, for people that do find that to be a big problem, uh, you could grab like one of these OMTAC uh, exhaust units, uh, the, the fume extractors here, and only use it when you're cutting gold. And then all of the buildup that collects inside the machine, you're going to know that's all gold. Uh, getting it out of those filters and out of that machine to reclaim it and, you know, melt it down or reuse it. That's kind of out of the field of, the, you know, my, the scope of, of what we do here on this channel. But at least it'll all be collected in one spot for you. So if you want something like that, there's a link in the description. Again, not really my ball game, but I wanted to offer a potential solution if that was something that you were wondering about. Why not try one of those? I mean, who knows, right? Uh, so that is it, guys. I really wanted to come back. We needed like a, a redux, like comeback round, you know, uh, after that big F uh, last episode when we tried to cut the gold. We just weren't using the right wobble, and that's the secret to cutting gold. Uh, it's really, it, it. once I had the wobble set correctly and the edges of the gold were no longer so close that they were re-welding together, everything was a breeze. It was so much easier, and I just couldn't wait to share this episode with you. So we had to publish it right now. Uh, I, I really wanted to do more like fall Halloween stuff because those holidays are coming up really quick. And we're running out of time to record episodes about that kind of stuff, but I had to put this out today uh, so that I could share this updated information with you guys because it made a really, really big difference for me. And I'm certain it's gonna make a really, really big difference for you. Thank you so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, uh, go ahead and smash the like button. Let everybody else know that the content is good. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you get notified the next time I post a video. If you really, really love the channel and it's the best thing that's ever happened to you, sign up for the Patreon because you get a ton of value for supporting the channel through the Patreon. Uh, multiple times a week, we're doing live streams for our patrons. We're doing uh, instant access to my entire CO2 and fiber laser parameter library that gets updated monthly. We also have uh, bonus episodes of the Laser Source podcast. So if you love the Laser Source podcast, you're going to love the bonus episodes. So don't miss out on those. And uh, a ton of other random posts that I kind of throw up for the patrons to provide as much value as I possibly can 
for your support of the channel. The link to that is down in the description. And while you're down there, don't forget to check out the link to our Discord. It's our amazing online community filled with people who love lasers. They love helping people that are new. Uh, we love sharing photos and talking settings and all kinds of stuff. So if you're looking for a place to call your laser home, uh, the Laser Everything Discord is probably gonna be perfect for you. So check that out again down in the description right next to the link to the Patreon. And uh, that's all I've got, guys. That's it. Like I said, I just couldn't wait to share this with you. I really, really hope you enjoyed it and I hope this helped you. And I hope we redeemed ourselves a little bit after last week's gold fiasco uh, i i really think that this was a great comeback and uh as you can see in those videos man it's uh it's a world of difference so i hope you get some use out of that and i will see you in the next one